Welcome to Culture Class Travel. Today we're going to show you two ways to wrap the sarong, Sri Lankan style. Here is the first way to wrap a Sri Lankan sarong. One thing you'll notice is that sarongs have a seam. These are different from the lungi and the dhoti, which do not have seams. They're open, kind of like a very long tablecloth or towel. So the Sri Lankan sarong is very easy to wrap. So first decide where you want the seam. It can be either to the side, or if you want to cover it up, you put it to the front. So let's put it to the front. And it's very easy. All you need to do is create two flaps. So we're going to create one flap here, and form follows function, so you'll see why, why this is being folded this way. And then you're going to create another flap on the other side. And just fold it over like that, very easy. Make sure it's nice and tight. And then just roll. And make sure you go all the way around. And you roll it up until it's the desired length. So however long you want it is fine. And there you go. So the reason why Sri Lankans fold it like this is because it's, it doesn't drag against your legs when you walk. So it opens up very nicely and easily, as you see. It doesn't catch on your legs like a regular skirt would. And that's how you wear it. Okay, now we're going to show you the second way of wearing a sarong. And I saw this at a fashion show in uh, Sri Lanka and I'm going to try to imitate how they did it. So this way looks a little bit nicer and basically what I do is I create a big flap here to the right and make sure it's very tight and then I fold it over. All right, let's get see if we can get rid of the seam. Fold it over and then create another nice flap in the front like that. That looks a little bit more stylish and it also gives you a lot of leg space when you're walking around. And you do the same thing where you twist all the way around, just like that. So now you've still got walking space and you've got a nice flap in the front. There you go. Two ways to wear a Sri Lankan sarong. Sarongs are the most amazing thing that men can wear when they're in a very humid and hot environment. So the Sri Lankan sarong, it is very airy. So there's a lot of air for uh, room for air circulation when you're walking around, especially with the hot weather. It also protects you from bugs and mosquitoes, which is another reason why in uh, South Asian countries, the men like to wear sarongs. Now, today if you go to Sri Lanka, you won't see a lot of men wearing the sarong because there's kind of a taboo against it. Uh, and it looks a little bit, they consider it kind of unprofessional. The secret is most Sri Lankan men would love to live in a sarong all day long if they could but they can't because of their jobs or their profession or what have you. So if you go to Sri Lanka, get a sarong and wear it with pride and walk around with it. It's amazing and you will get a lot of compliments from the locals there because they'll be jealous because they want to wear sarongs all day long and you get to because you're on vacation. The great thing that we liked about wearing the sarong in Sri Lanka is that it actually protects you from pickpocketers. So we wear shorts underneath and you can keep all of your belongings in your shorts. So for example, I would go around with my wallet in here and a cell phone in another pocket and whatever other uh, valuables that you have, keep them in there. And then when you're on the trains or the buses or wherever you are, you don't have to worry about anyone pickpocketing you 
and uh, you don't have to wear one of those fanny packs. So this is a lot easier. Another benefit to wearing the sarong when you travel Sri Lanka is that a lot of temples and religious sites have strict dress code regulations where they will not allow men or women to enter if they wear shorts and they want your legs to be covered. So oftentimes they will ra rent wraps at the temples whereas if you already have one of these then you're ready to go. You don't need to change and if it gets too uncomfortable for whatever reason if you want you know a little bit more air you can just take it off and wear your shorts around town. So these are the benefits to wearing the sarong and uh, if you're wearing it around the house you don't have to wear a shirt or you can wear whatever you want you can wrap it however you want to wear it there's no you know it's all up to you you can wear it as a pajama or as loungewear but if you're going out then traditionally men will wear a collared shirt and uh, it would be short sleeve or you can wear long sleeve and generally it, uh, the shirt will, uh, will be on the outside of the sarong. This is how you can wear it at home or this is how you would wear it when you go out. If you found this video helpful or insightful, please like, subscribe, and click that bell for notification of our next video. Also, comment below to share your thoughts. Toodles!